Welcome back to the podcast. It's your co-host. <laughs> you go. I'm Mrs. Madeover. No, I'm Mrs. Madeover. And thank you for tuning in. I hope you have been enjoying. No, thank you for tuning everything in. that we have been doing. At the end of the day, uh, this is what I do. I take leave. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we have appreciated everything you guys have been doing. No, I've appreciated everything that you've been doing. So, um, today, um, today uh, was a good day. It was a good day. I'm not gonna lie. I had a, uh, I got, we got an hour more worth of sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you did not get an hour more worth of sleep. I mean, it's like, like. Do you really get it? Is that extra hour? Are we getting an extra hour? What is it like? Are, like days are longer. No, nights are longer. Days are shorter. Okay, so did we lose an hour or did we gain an hour? I mean, it depends on who you talking. To. I'm talking to you. Oh, hey, I gained that hour. You. I so was night night time. I woke up today. I felt very refreshed. Like Mm-mm, I could have went back to sleep. Although Saturday was a little different. One of my clocks flipped before the time. <laughs> I'm like, whoa. Woo. So, I'm like, I got to be in for another hour. That would have been a disaster. You would have been fired. Yeah. Definitely. Fired. On my day sleeping. But I felt good. We got an extra hour in the day. It, it was wonderful. Uh, is it a, hold on. Set back an hour, right? It's still coming farther than that. It's just short. Hey. You know, my wife trying to steal my stuff. I broke that down to her a long time ago. Man, and she it, it, said... Did, did, did you write it down? She did said... Did you write it down? She said, you know something? No, she, you try to argue, argue me up and down about that. Here we go. Here so, we go again. Okay. You going to break down the topic for today? Ooh, I thought you was going to do that. Okay, nah. so... You said that right. I said that wrong. Nah, but no, nah, I'm not doing that. No, you are. I'm just gonna sit back. Man, you always sit back. And relax. No, you're not. And chill. All right. So today's topic. Um, this has been something that has um uh, kind of just been in my ear, whispering, like you know, mm. you can hear it. Um, it's been about ooh, about about a, I want to say about a month. I know I can get back like three. This has been marinating for about a month, and I'm just, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Why you always got to stop my show? Because I always be like, what topic are we doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I had to see if it was for me or if it was for me to share. A lot of times, people don't, did I just say this last week? I said this last week. What you think could be for you could be for somebody else to get out of what they're going through. Come on, I'm in here. Let's Are go. You done? I'm done. Are you tired? Like I'm like. Let's go. You done? Hmm. Hey. Hey. Grandma is about to tune out if you don't get into these podcasts. You know how she said. Don't do her. <laughs> All right. So um, this has just kind of been marinating for a little while. Um, and you know, in my shine on, I've been feeling it. So, um, but it goes along with kind of what we've been talking about the who am, who am I and coping with anxiety. And so with today's topic, um, I want to talk about being fearless, fearing less. Okay. So you have fearless together one word Mm -hmm. but then you have fear less okay so y'all know i'm gonna pull out i'm gonna pull out google and so i was like man okay well what's the difference between you know all of these definitions and so fear (laughs) well let's go with fearless first so fearless fearless is lacking fear okay that's what fearless is lacking fear but then if you just look up the word fear, the word fear, some people are like false evidence appearing real. Boo. No, let's talk about what it really is. It is an unpleasant feeling triggered by perception of danger 
real or imagined. So yes, it could be false evidence appearing real, but then it also could be real danger. Tell me, I got to stop it right there. What? Because that's one of my most fire is it is right but i'm looking and i'm showing you right here that it is an unpleasant feeling triggered by the perception of danger whether that danger is real or whether that danger is imagined okay let's look up the word perception okay perception perception is the ability to see hear or become aware of something through the senses mm-hmm okay so perception is basically what we see or what we hear. Basically, it's us just becoming aware of and sensing something. That sensing something can be imagined or it can be real. Okay? All right. Now, he threw that word in. Perception was not one of my words. Um, <laughs> and then the word less. Okay? Less means the one that I want to look uh, look at is... Um, is 3A, according to Miriam um, Webster, is of reduced size, extent, or degree. Okay? Right. So if we are fearing less, so fearing whether it's the, the imagined or the real, and then less, shorten that extent of how much we fear, then, you know, once we start identifying these things, we can come to a head of where we need to move to next. Explain identifying these things. Okay. These things could be, let's talk about like where we are right now. Where we are right now, we are days away from election 2020. We are in the middle of COVID. We've had Black Lives Matter movement. We've had what racial prejudice, uh, what do you call it? Protests. We've had all of these things going on mm -hmm. in the midst of you know, holiday season coming up, illnesses, like you got all of these things that we are faced with right now. So the biggest talk that we've been hearing is this election. Well, I don't want this person to be in office and I don't want that person to be in office and Black Lives Matter should be this and it should be that. But at the end of the day, we are fearing something we don't even know what's going to happen. So whether this is the real, so we are not imagining. Let me stop you right there. Because you said we are fearing something that hasn't happened. Right. right. So if we're fearing something that hasn't happened, would you say that we could be creating a false evidence mm -hmm. that could be appearing real? Yeah, but it's still real, though. It is what we are, ha what we are witnessing right in the now. Like right now, we know who our president is. Right. Yep. So right now, that is the real thing. That is what we what we are looking at. So in the real, the things that we are experiencing, that is what pretty much is driving the imagined fear. If this person continues or if that person continues, where would we go? Also, I think that uh, a lot of times we attach to things that bring about fear like the election and different other stuff like that like i believe once it's all said and done no matter who's in office i guarantee you're going to abide by the rules and you're going to do go about your daily routine for the most part um i think the fear that is strummed up of change yeah i mean it goes back to i mean it this kind of goes hand in hand with all of our topics we, we've touched on. Yeah. And so I think that's why for me, the idea of fearing. So like, for instance, this lion behind me, right? It's creeping, My dog. Dude, it's creeping me out. Cause like if I move, like, look at that. It's like, he's staring at me. So I know he fake, but this joke is giving me anxiety being right behind me because I know the real life thing in front of me would have me fearful yeah. but i know that this thing is imaginary but it appears to be real so whether it's the real lion or the lion that's imagined coming after me i'm still afraid of it so it doesn't matter i think the part that's been given to me is it does not matter where we are 
But if we continue to be afraid of the realness that we are in right now, and then the, imagine what can happen down the line if A, B, C, D, E, F, G occurs, we're going to be stuck and we're going to be on a hamster wheel because now we don't want to move forward. Now we don't want to, we don't know who and where to turn to because the first thing in my mind, I mean, in our minds is how do I know that person's going to understand where I'm coming from? I put it to you like this. A lot of times this hamster wheel that we create is one that we firmly built. Right. And we wonder why we can't get off of it because we've crafted with so many. The crazy part, if you picture the hamster wheel that is going around, the different steps that are on it, right. nine times out of ten is different fears that you built on right. this hamster wheel. Right. And, and, and you're stuck on it because this it, it's tied to you. Yeah. It's your it, it's your fear from childhood. Yeah, I was it's just about to say It's your fear that. from... Um, adulthood right. it's your fear of lack it's your fear right. of being lonely right it's it's this hamster wheel that cause that's what it i just, just keeps said going. it just right. keeps yeah. going i was gonna say that because it, it stems from when we're little so think about this and it was funny because my dad and i we were talking about this and he was like yeah i invited your sister over so we can just have like a horror movie night and i'm like no nah, daddy i'm good and so he was cracking jokes that when i was younger i didn't like chucky the doll i didn't yeah. like him I just did not anything dealing with a dog that could talk. That okay, could I got one thing to say about that. They messed up my buddy. Because my buddy <laughs> started off being a friendly dog. <laughs> He's yeah, not. showing her age. Right. But at the end of the day, my but buddy. My buddy had me terrified. My buddy started off being a dog that, that you can sweet. take it anywhere. My buddy. My buddy. But when Chucky. Hmm. When people seen that, I bet you I was just, done. I never I heard about was, nothing my buddy though. Y'all, I was like so done after that. So my dad, like, of course, cracks jokes. But like I would do some of the other horror movies. But as I got older, I still didn't like and still don't to this day likes a doll that have the blinking eyes, that can talk, that can move. And then they came out with some of this other crazy stuff, Annabelle and all these like you just yeah. like Charles Lee Ray <laughs> just graduated and became right. something else. So as like as a young child, that was something that I'm afraid of or I was afraid of, still don't like it. And so now the evolution of me, I was running on that house rule and now you can't get me to watch it because I won't I can't go to sleep. I, I gotta have all the lights people, on. People don't understand what that does to their spirit, you know, like and they wonder why they can't sleep. In <laughs> sleep with all the lights on. You hear something, you be like, oh. Why your eyes is peeled wide open. You, yeah. you at work because you ain't going to sleep last night because your spirit is stirred. Right. And that's the imagined fear. And then another thing from childhood, I don't know if you used to do this. Like my mom, my mom had stairs. Ah, I used to hate to go to the kitchen. Your mom will tell you. Look, I used to hate to go to the kitchen. She noticed. So I would, go down, I would turn on the light and I would go down the stairs. And go to, to tiptoe, right? And it was very dark downstairs. So, like, I had to, like, peep around the corner, flip the lamp on. But I was good going down. But on the way back, and I know some of y'all that did this. I know I'm not the only one. On the way back, it felt like I imagined once I turned the lights off, coming out of the kitchen, coming through the living room, and getting ready to go up the stairs, it felt like somebody was behind me. So, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I would be wow. killing them. And my mama would be like, yeah, stop that right at them stairs. Y'all, every time I was like late, like <laughs> I was okay. 20s, y'all. I was in my 20s oh, when, I was moved, when I was moved, when I moved back in with my mama, it was still the same exact way. It was just something about it. And so thinking about those imagined fears, but now today, as an adult, I have different fears. It's, you know, are we going to be safe with COVID? Yeah. I'm in a, I'm in a workplace around people. You have like, for, like we're both like <laughs> front line. <laughs> we're both front line. We have two young girls. And so that's real fear. Like that's the real life thing that we're in. And then like when they were doing the, the protesting and stuff, there were certain things and certain times you wouldn't let me go out. Mm -mm. So 
Those are things that we fear because that's the safety, but that is the real thing that we are dealing with on the now. Well, for me, um, I will be the fearless guy. Yes, you are. Um, <laughs> no, because, you'll be the one word, fearless. Like That's what I'm saying. Yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, because I don't like getting number one antsy and amped up right. over something that doesn't have... Because I realize what that does to my body. I realize, like, your heart gets to racing. Yeah, it does. You get to sweating. Like, yep. the effect of just, like, fearing. worrying right. and fearing, like, oh, tomorrow is <laughs> such and such. Like, it's Monday. Like, <laughs> I hate that feeling. Like, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I hated that feeling because I felt like I had no control over it. Right. And I had to do certain methods to, okay, you got to breathe. Like, calm, right. calm you your calm heart down. rate down. Right. Imagine what happens to your body and the 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 there's so much pressure yeah. that you put on it. Yeah, it goes that it builds up yeah, like it goes into that immediate for you stressor. for your heart to start racing and for you to start sweating and over, over something that is not <laughs> happening yet. Over right. something that that yeah. like like for me, I'm like man. It has to happen, right? For like you to, in yeah, order for me to get yeah. fear, uh, like this line has to back. He gonna have to be in front of me growling, and like I, I would literally have to know I'm that he you. is chasing me. <laughs> and uh, until here. then, I'm just like enjoying, just like. But for the most part, I hate the 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 just stages like. of the thing that, like the physical, the thing that happens to you physical when you right. fear and you worry, like. Yeah. Like especially, especially about and I keep saying I keep and I keep saying it's about something that never happens. Yeah. And that's why I think it it doesn't come to me as fearless as one word. It comes to me as we need to fear less, less of what we have right in front of us that we can see that's tangible that we can touch. He can I mean, you know, Lord forbid he can catch COVID, Lord forbid I can catch it. That is something that is like right here with us. But then the idea of this lion, y'all, <laughs> shit, this lion got me freaking out back here. Um, but the fact that this lion, like, he really got me anxious because, like, it looked like he looking like, look at this. I think it's a fire. <laughs> like, it made me want to do this. Like, okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> but the idea of him behind me, he is imagined. Like, he can stand in front of a lion all day. I just pray to the Lord. That you know that line just stop, and you know Jesus just touch him and just stop First him, all, and they just stare each other eye to eye. I feel like, but I ain't trying to have no line in front. I of me. feel like this, and this probably go to my fearless and my faith as far as different other yeah, stuff. You do have I it. just feel like if I was to come in contact with a line, not that I'm going out there to look. Now, if you're going out to look, <laughs> that's a different story. Y'all don't go look. I no just line. believe that if. <laughs> a lion was to present himself. First of all, I'm strapped. <laughs> That's first of all. But for the most part, like with me, I just feel like I'll be like Daniel. Like for some reason. And even when I was in the world, I've always been that yeah, type of way. Yeah. I've never feared like. Yeah, He's always fe literally feared less of like <laughs> whatever. And he was fearless. He had like he feared less and then he was fearless. So the things that a normal person would not do because they knew they would get hurt. Those were the very things he did. Cause I always felt protected. Like. And so I mean, but you and you used to tell me that. Like he used to always say, I'm good. God got man, I don't care. You being foolish right now. Like I was but, saying it at, <laughs> and, you know, it's not a good and I don't encourage people to do don't this. But I said this. it in my stage of being drunk, in my stage yes. of being hot, but I always yes. felt and I think it's something that my mom instilled yeah. with me that, you know, no matter where you go, God got you. Right. Like, and like, I've always carried that with me. So I feel like no matter what it is, I can conquer because I'm not doing it by myself. Right. For the most part, you know, especially now, especially now that I'm saved, mm -hmm. I'm about really saved. Like there is no fear. Right. When the Bible said God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of a sound mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then dang for me. I'm not supposed to be. It's, right. it's not that. Yeah. I don't have trouble days and I, I don't have right. things that make me say, ooh. But the things that are going on within our world or the things that are going on with us us, or the things that we're imagining, those are the things that we need to learn to fear less. We need to learn to feel fear 
less of, you know, whatever happens after, you know, whatever happens after November 3rd, whatever happens for 2021. Like we are already trying to predict what is going to happen this week, what's going to happen knows. next week. And so now, like he said, we're fearing less. So our anxiety is high, which yeah. what we just talked about. Then we don't know who we are because now we're falling into what society is. And then we're going to be fearful because if we do, if we do it this way, society is not going to approve of it. Then, you know, we're, I mean, we're just fearing so much. So we lose our identity. And fear. We have the anxiety. And fear. We don't want, we, we, we are dreading the change. Uh, so all of these things that we have talked about, like on, you know, in the previous, ep- uh, well, previous podcast, we now are here at this point where we are fearing so much to where there's no sign of God to nobody right now, it seems like, because everybody's like, oh my God, this is going to happen. But then there's the faithful few where we're like, okay, even though we may be fearing this or imagining this thing Mm -hmm. that is somewhat making us faithful, we know that there's somebody else that we need to be fearing because he's going to handle all of this anyway. But I think the fear... Sorry, I'm just like reaching all over you. Come come on in here. But I I, I believe the fear is because of the chaos that we have created. And now we're worried about the repercussion of it. Right. Now we're the thing is we only fear things when we're unprepared. Yeah, because we're not we're we're I mean that's like okay, let's talk about you know, back in the day, my mom used to spank me. Well, I didn't get it like that. But I knew if I did something or well, I was see, I know doing my mom something. Used to whoop yeah. me. Like. Yeah, I, I wasn't. A, he was bad, though. I was, <laughs> but if I did something or when I did something that was displeasing to my mom and she had to repeatedly tell me about that thing. Not like the first time, you know, okay, punishment, talk to me, you know, my friends that if they watch this or people I went to school, if they watch this, y'all know I always stood on punishment. That was just that thing. But it took my mom a, it took her a while to have to turn around and spank me because usually I'm like, you know, do that. Like, I, you just talk to me, I'm going to cry and I'm going to feel remorse. But then as I got some age, um, I knew. Duda is our daughter. Oh, Duda is our daughter. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm like, who is Duda? Duda is our daughter. Um, I didn't make the nickname. Up. Sorry. Okay, Araya. <laughs> she'll probably be like, don't mommy, don't put that on on you. That's that's so embarrassing. Comment below. Let me see. Right. <laughs> Comment ahead. below. Like, what's your nickname? <laughs> um, that you didn't want nobody to know. Uh, Crazy. But but like, I remember doing something and be terrified, y'all. The mom will find out because I knew I would get it. But I, in the middle of like doing it, like I was, yeah, I was getting it. But when she did find out, it was like, man, I know I'm about to get it. Like, ooh, please don't tell mom. I know you just, hey, how you doing? Where well, your mama? She at home? She is? Have you said? Yeah, I'll tell her you said, hey, don't call her though. Like that was legit me because I knew I was doing something that I should not have been doing. And then I didn't want to reap what i was like reap the benefits reap of what the I harvest of that, that harvest of what i was yeah. doing it was so i mean not so wrong but mom it was wrong mom sorry you had to be i mean you had to think it's wrong because you, yeah especially if you, I know if you it was want wrong. your mom to find out yeah i want mom to find out like i mama there were some places y'all because she's gonna watch this. mama there were some places that i had it told you i was going and i didn't go we talking about fearless and i was hey but I knew my mama was like, so she didn't see that fear. So I made sure to cover my tracks. Don't y'all do that though. But as an adult, when I look back on it hindsight, it was like my mom had a certain level that she instilled fear. So I knew how far I can go with her. I went from the crawl out no window. I went from the do. There was a lot of stuff I didn't do because I knew that my mom had instilled like morals and values. So that was the type of fear I had. I did not want to let her down. But I think we have forgotten who God is. We just oh, think, yeah. we, we, we think about all the love and the mercy. Like, like it's like, I'm not getting struck down right now or so nothing's we, not yeah. happening. So we feel like we getting away, but I'm going to tell you now, you far from getting away. Ooh. 
If, if you think you're escaping the wrath of you're God, not. you're sadly mistaken. Because at the end of the day, I'm trying to tell you, everything that goes around, it comes around. It does. Like you Especially, literally... and I'm talking to the believers. I'm not talking to the unbelievers. I'm talking to the actual, this is... the actual believers. If you think you're slipping by, you're not. I'm trying to tell you, you got a whole nother thing coming. And then the sad thing is that we... As believers, we think that we are getting by, but then the foolishness that we're doing, now other people are starting to witness our foolishness, and now they think that it's okay. So now we got not only the, the stuff we've done, but now we got the blood of other people on our hands because they see that our foolishness and they think that that's okay. But the funny part is not funny, but it's sad because the Bible speaks about it. Because I've been studying this week about lukewarm yeah like if you're lukewarm he said i'd rather you be hot or cold mm -hmm. if you lukewarm i spew you out of my mouth like for me it's like it's either be all in for god or not or god. not yeah like there is no gray area there is no one foot in one yeah. foot out and i think that's where we got to messed yeah. up how do we get this I don't know. but but, that's, I mean, but it still ties all the way back in because we don't fear him though yeah that's what it ties back in so it's not like i mean you're not going there's no reverence yeah we don't fear him we're, we're actually whew, we're actually fearing him less than we should be and fearing everything else more we fear what men say like right. we fear we fear losing our job more yes, than we fear I, ooh, God. I was just about to say that and 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 for me, we put other people in position like above God. A lot of things are out of order because I think the order is God first, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. and everything else falls into place. Mm -hmm. And I think we put God literally at the bottom because in this time, pandemic, everybody going crazy. So it's like okay. God, I'm going to have to put you at the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and handle all this. Man, I treat my problems like hot potato. All right, here you go, God. <laughs> but that's just me. Like, because I know I I can only see what's in front of me. Let me give it to somebody who can see where in the distance. I mean, like, like, I know that I can't control time. I can't, you know, predict time. I, I don't know what's ahead of me. So let me give it to the person that sees further than me, that controls everything. I just put all my trust and my faith in him. That's just me. But they don't. I mean, but when you don't understand, when you can't process, let's put it there, because I'm going to say you don't understand. When you can't process or you don't want to process the idea of fearing God and fearing everything else less, then you stuck. You still on that same wheel. So then I can't think about, oh, I'm going to take this problem. I'm going to toss that. Oh, here's the pandemic. Got to toss that back. Oh, man, I just lost my job because of the pandemic. I'm going to toss that back. Instead of everything, it's like, oh, my gosh, the pandemic is here. Now what do we do? Man, you got to keep tossing stuff back. Like, that's what we became, like, the focal point on. And so, like, every day, and I think it hit me. Every day I walk into that school building, right? I know for a fact I'm putting myself at risk, okay? Day. Every day I'm mindful. The I get part is, let me take it a step further. You're not just putting yourself at risk. Putting, putting everybody, putting yeah. Putting family at risk for just being out there. And so every day I'm mindful, okay? Who was I around? All right, did that person have a mask off? Okay, was I in a breathing moment? Okay, now we got to eat lunch. Y'all stay over there. Let me stay here. Hey, boo, you too close. Now I'm eating. I got to pull my mask. Off. Like, not fear. Like, I've learned to not fear the fact that I'm on the front line mm -hmm. without it being basically stated. But I know at one point they wanted teachers to be considered front line. So here I am on the front line. But I've learned not to fear it of being there and of being, there's a possibility of being, you know, impacted or affected and affected my family. But I've learned to just be conscious and aware of these things. And instead of fearing them, and I think that's how we've 
been able to get through COVID is because we our, our bank account has been low. <laughs> low, low, low. But instead of fearing it, it's Ooh. like <laughs> it's, it's been now you know that account was low. For temp it was temporary or temporary low. But either way, some people are fearing that. Some people are afraid because, oh my goodness, I can't put gas in the car. Or oh my goodness, like whatever. Like I should be and, and this is going back to that anxiety. This is going back to the identity and the change. We're furloughed. So that's extra money coming out the paycheck. And so I could either fear <laughs> you gotta, that. You got to tell that story. This is a story to that. So I'm furloughed and I'm like, okay. I don't think people know what furloughed is. People don't know what furloughed I'm, is. I, what, what everybody doesn't know. You got to explain to the people who doesn't know. You know who don't know? know? Yeah. Okay. So furlough basically meaning that the state is forcing us to take unpaid days off. Like we, there's nothing we can do about it. Like they've picked out days and then on top of that, we lose money because we are losing days. So for teachers, they are, they look at things and then they determine based on your salary, how much they're going to take out per check. And since teacher are, teachers are on a contract, they have taken out, they're taking out this amount over the course of my whole contract up until fiscal year 2021. Yeah. So we are losing a nice piece of money, but instead of me fearing that, it's like no, you why? gotta tell what you did at first. I'm like, bang, man, you know they take it. We losing X amount of money. I was like, can you believe it? And this was when like I knew we were gonna get furloughed, but I didn't know how much they were gonna take out. Cause I'm sitting here like, hey, just take the lump sum for me. Don't take it out over the course. I knew if they did the lump sum, like we would probably we would be in small buying. But nothing we could probably come up out of. Um, I, that's what I said, small buy. No buy. Nothing that we would <laughs> come out of. <laughs> but I knew I was like, ooh. So when I found out how much they were going to be taking, I'm like, babe, this is how much we losing our check. He was like, and? I was like, oh, okay. He's because. Like, and. and so that, but, okay, say why you did it now. I'll tell you why. Because for me. We always count the losses, but we never count the gains. Like, we never count that extra 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 that may come along down the line. A lot of times when I think, like, I always think, like, man, if I concentrate on the negative, I'll never be able to reap the benefit of the positive. Right. So, for me, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, but I'm always no, a planner. he was like, man. Like, like, it's like, but then, but his response took that mind, like, don't be fear, Miss Mo, because it's already taken care of. So in those moments, when we start to feel fearful, when, you know, it might not be enough food, you might got to take the money from Peter to pay Paul and call Peter to say you got to pay Paul and you're going to pay them late. Excuse me. But whatever it is that you have to do. You have to do it. But where we're failing it is we are we are just so fearful of all of the what ifs. And the we what are, ifs is, is, is literally something as, as, as adults used to tell us when we was young. Maybe you should just mind your business. Mind your business, just mind your business. And, 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 and like, let God be God. Right. But I don't want to do that because... All right. So if we... Learn to fear less of what is going on with us, around us, real or imagined, mm -hmm. created. Then that's when I think we will start understanding where who we need to be afraid of, and the reason we need to be afraid of him because. He's a jealous God. So we're putting everything in front of him. We're fearing everything. So we've taken our mind off of him. You know that song? God woke up this morning with my mind. Stayed on Jesus. Well, your mind ain't stayed on Jesus no more. Because your mind is on the election. Your mind's on COVID. Your mind is on, on food stamps. Your mind's on, uh, or what is it? The, the PEBT, the pandemic EBT food stamps. that they're going to give your child some more. Your mind's on, like, all of these different things, um, you know, 
virtual teaching, parenting courses or whatever you're having to do in the role that you're in. If you take your mind off of that and as he said, toss those potatoes back and then turn your mind and be fearful toward the one who put you in all these places, who created all of these things, Mm -hmm. then it'll be less of worry. It'll be less of the anxiety. You'll be able to, you know, move whatever change comes. You won't lose who you are. And, and, And in our closing, I want to tell you a few things that help you through your or, or, or becoming fearless, one word. Number one, fear less. Fear less. Fear things that <clears throat> that are out of your control. Like, like, right. like, don't fear things that you cannot control. Right. If it's out of your control. Beyond your fingertips. Beyond your fingertips. Don't be trying to, like. And even if you reach. And you still can't touch it. You still it. can't touch it. Let it go. Let, <laughs> Let it, it go. It, yeah. It's gonna be what it's gonna be. Like like whoever's gonna be president it's is gonna, gonna be, be president. president. And whatever decision. Long as everybody make, did they due diligence. That's it. That's just what it is. After right. it's said and done. No, 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 girl. I'm talking. <laughs> but I want you also, number two, to check your order. Oh yeah. Where's God on your list? Mm-hmm. Like if he's not number one, that will be the answer yeah. to why you, you got so go much back, fear. Yeah. You got to go back and check your priority. Like, it, it, if God has not given us the spirit of fear, mm-hmm. but of a sound mind, mm-hmm. which means you're leaning to your own understanding. His ways are not our ways. So, which means you're trying to understand something that is not made or built for you. Stop taking on God weight. Because your shoulders are not built to carry that type of weight. Anything you want to say in closing? Yeah, that song in my head. The Lord is my life, salvation. I don't know who sings it. Mm-hmm. Who shall I be? Mm-hmm. Whom shall I be afraid? You, you are really singing a lot this year. Oh, I really? Know, you know, like... You... I will wait on you. <laughs> like, that song, like, everything, I think, that is teaching us or speaking and reiterating why we should not be afraid. That's what we need to be focused on. Turn your TV off. Turn your phone off. Did you know the next, what, two, three, four days, the rest of this week, the rest of this year, you already know what they're going to be talking about. Okay? So in order to block out or shield, and that's what we don't do enough of. We don't block out. We don't shield. I've already said I am not doing Social media, the only time I'm going to get on is Wednesday to watch church. But all the other stuff, I'm not going to be finger strolling this week because it's going to be foolishness and I don't have time for it. And so we have to learn to shield ourselves because sometimes we create those fears by things that we are opening ourselves up to. And I think you said that earlier. Um, And then I wanted to, this is, um, I've been reading a lot of devotionals about like being fearless or uh, fearing less. And this was one of the scriptures, Genesis uh, 15 and 1. So, um, this is when the Lord had spoke to uh, Abram uh, in a visit. And he, this is what God said. Do not be afraid, Abram, for I will protect you and your reward will be great. So do not be afraid, Mr. and Mrs. Mo, for I will protect you and your reward will be great. Do not be afraid, our podcast and YouTube listeners and watchers and Facebook and Instagram and whoever is watching because I will protect you. And your reward will be great. So if we fear less and Mm -hmm. we are not afraid of the things that do not concern us and we focus on God and we fear him in the reverence of him, then guess what? He is telling us right here, your reward will be great. He's going to protect us and your and our reward will be great. So it does not matter who is in office. It does not matter what happens with this pandemic. It does not matter what happens on your job. It does not matter what happens in your household and in your family. God has said right here, do not be afraid. Everybody, Abram, 
but he's speaking to all of us if we insert our name for i will protect you youtube you podcast listeners you facebook watchers you instagram mr mo you mrs mo i will protect you so he's telling us he's gonna protect us and, you also and then our reward is gonna be great but, but, but the thing is but we gotta do that it, look, step look, look, look at it like this like would you let anything happen to your child no you won't so he's telling us like <laughs> so it's why so would our father crazy. in heaven oh. let us let anything he's telling and he like that. and that's not the only time that he's telling us that. like our nicole our youngest she is so accident prone but I wouldn't say she yes, bro. She just fearless. <laughs> she is. Oh my gosh. She now she is fearless. <laughs> but in the midst of her being fe- like she she bumps her head several times. She always doing something. Jeez. I'm just so grateful that she has not broken a bone. We have not had any major injuries. So with her being the way she is, like she could do one thing and then she's fearing less and less and less of being hurt. Or it's like, oh, I did that. Okay, I'll do that again. Like it is something that we make sure that she's protected. So we make sure that whatever she's doing, there are safety measures around our house. So we are protecting her and we are ensuring that her reward is going to be great. So as she's flipping through the house and running like a running like a track star Mm -hmm. around we're already plotting like we you know we lean sometimes i'm like oh she cut that corner too fast but or too close but at the end of the day we are still we protect our children and god is telling us he's gonna protect us so all we have to do y'all is like really not be so consumed with what is going on in our communities what is going on in our world yes be aware Yes, be cognizant of what's going on. Yes, be conscious. Yes, be careful. But you don't have to be afraid because he's telling you again, Genesis 15 and 1. And there's so many other scriptures, y'all. But this is the one that stuck out. He's telling us, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. Abram, and like I said, replace your name. If you're listening and you're watching it, replace your name with Abram's name. For I will protect you. He's telling you. Like, it's just very simple. I'll protect you. And your reward is going to be great. Now, don't get mad if you say all of that. And then it'd be challenged and it'd be tested. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I already know this is going. Because, you know. I've been, yeah. And I've been fighting. I think that was the thing of, okay, I need to know what to say. Because I knew it was going to come. <laughs> but. I knew. You're good. At we're the all, end of the day. We're, like, at the end of the day, we're all, we're all good. He's telling, believe us, he's telling us, <laughs> fear see, less. See, he was on the other side, but you, 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 you're not. Fear less. Don't be afraid. Fear less. Okay? Fear less of what is going on. Focus on him only. We preach, don't we? we no, you preach. Oh. I'm just... Sure. And know that y'all, he is protecting us. Yeah, we might have lost some friends along the way. Yeah, some loved ones might have dropped down, you know, with COVID. Yeah, we might have, you know, lost a job. Yeah, we might have lost, you know, income. Yeah, our kids, we might have to be teaching them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and their grades may be slipping. But he's telling us to do not be afraid. Fear less my child because at the end of all of this as long as you keep me at the top of your little umbrella and let me be the oh that's good let me be the um i gotta come down let me be the umbrella let him be the umbrella he's telling me he's protecting what do the umbrella do it protects you from the rain mm-hmm he is going to protect us, but not just from the rain. He's protecting us from every single thing that can come through. Because guess what? If it's coming down, it's going to hit your mind first. And then it's going to hit your mind. It's going to travel to your heart. And then it's going to come out your mouth. I stay with an umbrella. So if you don't have your umbrella and you go outside, you're going to be wet with foolishness. 
you're going to become afraid. But if you keep your umbrella, it at least know, lets you know that you have some type of safety, some type of security. That's where the protection comes in, y'all. That's where the protection is. And then guess what? He said, after he protect us, guess what going to happen? The reward, whatever it may be. It may not even be, oh, can I say this? It may, I know we was, that was closed out. I'm sorry. But we're straight Baptists. On this. See, y'all, he gave y'all points and everything. I started that preaching. No, I'm not. I'm really not preaching. I I'm feel like that. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Um, but <laughs> our reward may not be a new car, new house, new job, new boo, new mayor, whatever money. It may not. It may not be something tangible in our hands. Our reward is sometimes the relationship with him, the relationship with within your spouse. It may be some brokenness somewhere that needs to be mended. It may be some stuff in your heart that you're dealing with. So your reward is going to come in the manner that he sees fit for you. So don't look for your reward to be something tangible. That's what I, I wanted. I wanted to say that because we think that reward is like, oh, I'm going to get it. No, your reward is not your reward. Most of the time is not a tangible thing. Sometimes it is, but he's going to give you the things, believers, he's going to give you what you are lacking so that you can go out and do his job and teach other people how to come to him and then fear less in the process. Okay, I'm done. Drop the mic. So. <laughs> um, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I'm not sorry. See, I'm not. You know, she is fearless from word, you know, and, and I know this week she's going to be tested. I'm going to remind her of everything she said. I'm going to pull up that scripture. I'm going to tell her, like, listen, it's already don't you tell me about this little girl no more. You better fear less and do what you're supposed to be doing. Don't you tell me about the school no more. You better fear less and do what you're supposed to be doing. But listen, we love y'all. We do. We just want y'all to. <laughs> We want y'all to just be encouraged. And you know, and, and, I think and that's what it comes down to. I know it's, it's tough out here. And I know it's difficult. Like she said earlier, you know, I know we've lost some people. I lost some, I lost some people before yeah, the pandemic, you, you know, at the top of the year. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I, I, you know, it hits me and I deal with it, you know, for the most part. And I'm still, you know, we still suffer from different sadness like i can i can feel the sadness mm -hmm. coming upon us during thanksgiving right during the um christmas these holidays you know mm -hmm. i know it's gonna be heavy <clears throat> because just this year you know so it, every and loss this year you know is fresh like you said and we can't yeah. get together we can't so congregate our fellowship. that's why i want to uh start putting out more content um i'm just just be in prayer y'all um the world is heavy, and um, the only person who can really take care of that fear is our father. And that's it. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank, thank you to our you listeners. Yes, um, thank you so much. We're starting to get quite a few downloads on our um, really on our. See, see, why you just looking at YouTube? I'm looking at podcasts, all that stuff. I don't even have you. Don't even bless your heart. It. It uh, bless your heart. So, thank you. <laughs> Thank, thank you, you for so listening much. and and thank you for tuning in. <laughs> those who are riding your car, going yes. to work and doing what thank you need you. to do. We do appreciate the listen. We appreciate the downloads. We do. Um, look forward to hearing, hearing from us a lot more. Um, yeah. That I, will be what? updated. I got to get more, as my wife say, socially uh, active. I'm just YouTube, baby. Just YouTube, baby. You know what I'm saying? I'm but in, in podcasts, I stay on my podcast. Well, I'm running for YouTube uh, and podcasts is what I do. I'm running it. You, you know, uh, but we do love y'all. We do. I, I can't stress that. We do love y'all. Yes. Appreciate y'all's help and what we do. Uh, let me stop and close out. Five. You trying to outdo me? No. Nah, my sorry. wife did. And uh, like we always say, <laughs> Keep God first. And the rest will, will be, be added. added.